HQA Sports. Well, today was the day we'd see what Luke Guthrie was made of at the John Deere Classic. Could he keep pace with the heavyweights like Jordan Spieth and the dangerous Zach Johnson, who was flying up the leaderboard? Not happy at how he finished yesterday. I'd say he was pretty motivated today to get out there and go low. As we take you up to Silvis, Illinois, here is Luke rocking the black and white as he usually does. How about the putt from him right here? He's going to sink that baby right there. And he was just on his game, sinking birdies, a couple bogeys out there today. Pretty happy with his performance. He knows, though, he's going to have to play even better tomorrow if he wants to climb back up the leaderboard. Uh, Jordan played well today, obviously, and uh, he's going to be a tough guy to chase down, but I'm going to show up tomorrow and try to do it, uh, clean up a few things. I, I hit the ball a lot better today. I'm, I'm pleased with I'm, I'm getting better, it feels like, every day. Pretty, pretty good stuff from him as we take you to how about the Illinois-Missouri All-Star game tonight at Clemens Field and Hannibal, star-studded field. It was just packed with the heavy hitters. And Pittsfield, Jonah Molesky getting Illinois boys started here as he's going to hit the grounder over the throw. Throw isn't going to be in time at first. Nolan Art comes out and score. How about that? Nolan Art scoring a first inning run. We saw that many times this year. one nothing lead, top second. Luke Freen going to slice it down the left field line. Jordan Hart, Nolan Art going to come in to score. Illinois building themselves a 5 to nothing lead at that point. Pass balls were an issue as well today for Missouri. Frieden would advance home on one right there. They'd stretch the lead to 7 to nothing. Missouri looking for some defense. Clark County's Cyrus Phillips would do just that. Spin and throw right here over to first. Trevor Many called this one Manny Machado S. Looked like it for sure right there. They would get escape and get out of the inning. That's where the bats got hot for them. Seti Boone from Knox County hits a little dribbler. Caleb Bradshaw going to collision right there. That one, hope he's okay after that. Phillips would come on in to score. The Show Me State on the board. How about the suicide squeeze right here? So tough to execute, but they do it very well as Mr. Many comes on in home to score. Makes it 7-2 to two at that point. Scott Hoover from Monroe City going to bring home two more right here. Nice piece of hitting from him with a shot out to center. 7-5 to five ball game at that point. Cyrus Phillips going to tie this baby up coming up right here. How about him as he's going to poke that one way out into the right. He goes to Oppo. 7-7 seven, seven ball game at that point. But you know what? Illinois, they were hot tonight as well, like I mentioned. And they would go up by three runs, 10-7. to seven. Last time I checked, this one might have just gone final. Is Illinois, they earn the bragging rights as they get it done, 10-7. Some more baseball news to pass along if we can. How about the Adams County U13 Little, League, Little Leaguers, I should say. They split their games today. They will play in the final with a win. I think that one is tomorrow, so congrats to them. Showing out for Adams County, not too bad. Also, some prospect league action to get to you as well today. This one was in a rain today. Delays, you can hear it pouring and thundering out there. 7-4, I got out of there. Wasn't able to get too many highlights out of that ball game. Also.